Hello! It is a great day to be at the office. I am the office worker and I'll be helping you with your page orientation, your margins, and your headers and footers. So let's get started. First thing is, um, let me explain kind of what each thing is. So for your orientation, your page orientation, that just has to do with which direction your page is going to be facing. What we're looking at right here, what I did was I just drew a box in the middle of it that is taking up the space of where your text would go. So you can kind of see this page is in the landscape orientation, but but this one is in portrait. Okay. Now, if you want to change them, all you'd have to do is come up to your layout menu and go over to orientation and choose which one you want. They also show you a picture right here of what it would look like. So portrait up and down like this, landscape kind of side to side. Okay, I'm going to stick with portrait for right now. Your margins, that is just the space that is in between the edge of the paper and where your text would go. So again, I drew that box so that you can see all this white space is your margins. Okay, and those can be changed very easily. <clears throat> which is what we will start with and then we will talk about our headers and footers. So for margins, again we're under layout, all the way to the left here you'll see margins. Now there's a couple of ways to get into margins. You can come over here, click on margins, you can choose one that's already um, set up for you, or you can go to custom margins which brings up your dialog box and you can type in the numbers you want. Or if you have your ruler showing which is under the view right here is ruler okay so you have a top ruler and a side ruler and you can just double click into this gray area and that will bring up the same box I kinda like that it's a little faster but there's always more than one way to do things so everybody chooses what they like under margins you have a default setting of one inch so every time you open up a word document it starts off at one inch for you if you want to change that, you just come into here and you type in the numbers you want. And it's in inches. So if I want it to be a smaller margin, I type in a smaller number, like 0.5. And you can see here the preview is going to show you what it looks like. Okay. Um, I can have them all be the same, or I can choose my margins to be all different. And I'll pick some crazy numbers so you can kind of see. I'll make this one one. Okay, so we have our margin set. And then we just say okay. So now you can see my left margin is small. Actually, let me let me put uh, <laughs> I think it is centered. That's hilarious. Okay, so. The top margin is um, pretty small. I think we had the top margin at 0.5. Our bottom a little bit bigger, so it's at one inch. Our right is pretty large, it's at two inches. And then of course our left, like I said, was really small. That's at just um, 0.75. So those are a little strange, so we're just going to make them all a half an inch. So they're all the same. Oh, it doesn't like something. We'll have to ask it to fix it. It doesn't like our bottom one being smaller than 0.56. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't matter. There we go. So that was your margins. Now you can, let me go back in there. Okay. You also have um, a header and footer margin. So that's the space that your header and footer can go into. So right now the default setting is at a half an inch. So if my margin is at a half an inch, then that's gonna butt up right against the header and the footer, which is fine, but it all depends on what you like. Now if you can make this smaller, if you want to have a smaller 
um, header if you don't need a lot of space, or you can make it um, larger. But again, you want to be careful because if your margins kind of collide with it, then your text will collide. So that's your margins. So once again, that was under layout, margins. You can either pick what's here. So see, right here it was the 0.5. We could have just clicked right here and then we would have been done. Here's one inch. We can go right back to our default. Or you have different other settings here. Or you can go to custom, which brings us to that same box. Okay. I'm going to put it back for the next thing. Now, headers and footers. Header is the section of the document that's at the very top margin. Okay, so whatever you type in your header appears right up here in this margin, this white space. Your footer is just the opposite. It's the text, the section of the document that your text will appear in the bottom margin, so down here at the bottom. So, I'm going to actually go into something I have opened up so that you can see what it will look like with text. So if this was a, um, a book report, okay, if you had a book report to do, or doesn't matter what it is, a report of any kind, the top here is our margin. So to get into the header, you can do a couple different ways. You can go to insert, come over here to header and footer. It doesn't matter which one you start with because you can get to either one once you get in there. Or you can double click in the header area or footer area. I kind of like that way better, it's a little faster. Um, just double click and you're in. Now you'll notice that everything else grayed out, got lighter, and that's because it's letting you know that you are in the header or that you're in the footer. Okay. We are going to put, oh, we're not going to have a different first page. Everything's going to be the same. So we're going to put our name, which I'm not going to type mine, but you'll type yours. I hit enter and I'm going to insert a date. And we're going to have it update automatically. So make sure there's a check mark so that every time we open this document, it will have the current date. Okay, now you'll notice it went here and it went on page two. It does it automatically. And if I had more pages, it would be on all the others. Down here at the footer, we're going to do a page number. So right here, still under the header footer section, click page number, page number. We are going to show the number on the first page. We're going to have it right aligned. Here we can go to format and select what kind of numbering we want. We're going to keep it like that. We're going to start it. Oops, page one. We're going to say OK and OK. Now let me zoom in so you can see what this looks like. I have a one here at the bottom of page two. I have a two. It automatically does it. And if I had more pages, to do. I just added another page, and here's our three. And look, even our header automatically. Okay? Now, see how dark this header is? Because, like I said, when you're in the header or the footer, it's going to be dark. It's showing you where you're at. And then everything else is grayed out. To leave it, you can either click the X up here, or you can double click outside of the header or footer, so in the main document area. And now this is now dark and this is gray. But that doesn't mean that's how it'll print. When it prints, it's going to look just as you see it when you're in edit mode. So right now I'm editing here, and this is black and blue in color, and that's how it will print. Up here in edit mode, that's black and that's how it will print. Now if I were to change the color, it doesn't matter, it'll still print whatever color I choose, even though it may not show that way outside of being in the header. Okay. That is headers, footers, orientation, and margins. Leave a comment below for what you would like to see next. 
and click that like button if you liked what you saw. If I helped you at all, click the like button and uh, subscribe so you can uh, see what's coming up next. Thank you and come again.